Here are my 10 best cable pulley system exercises. We're gonna kick things off with a single arm lap pull down. One advantage of this exercise is that if you haven't got very many weight plates to load it up, doing it one arm at a time means you can still go fairly heavy and reach an eight to 10 rep max with just the weights you've got. I like to start with an overhand grip and as I pull, I go to neutral or underhand. Try and minimize the movement of your torso so you're not rocking back and forwards, but you can reach that lat out allowing a stretch down the working side. Moving on to one of the classics, but one of my favorites, a tricep push down. I prefer to do this with a rope attachment, but this can be done with a bar or even just single arm holding onto the cable. Make sure you get a good stretch to the tricep at the top and focus on locking out and squeezing the triceps at the bottom. Keep control to minimize rocking of the weight. Next, we're moving on to a single arm crucifix curl. This is an exercise that I don't see done very often, but I really like it. It gets a great pump on the bicep and you can really feel it burning if you do it under control. If you're struggling with stability, you could try holding a dumbbell in the opposite side or holding onto a bench or a box. Make sure you curl your fingers to your temple, keeping the chest stretched and the elbow pulled back. A common mistake is to close the elbow forward, shortening the chest during the curl. Next up, we've got a high to low crossover chest fly. This is a really great isolation exercise for the chest. I think it works better than a dumbbell fly as you keep a more consistent amount of tension throughout the whole range of motion. Give it a try, let me know how you find it. It does take a while to do both arms as you have to switch in between, but I find that it's worth the benefit for getting that good chest isolation. Keep your arm at a consistent angle throughout the whole rep. So try not to bend your arm as you come into the stretch position and then strain it across. Just fix a 20 degree angle at your elbow at the start and maintain that all the way. You wanna squeeze your chest muscle as it comes across your body and let it stretch only to a comfortable extent when you come out. Next, we're on to a cable crunch. This is a tricky one to do well and get right, but if you have some practice at it, I think you'll find that it gives you one of the best ab burns out of any exercise. So what you wanna do, you wanna fix your hips relatively stationary. You wanna let the abs stretch out, and then you wanna crunch round like you're curling your torso round like a newspaper. Touch your elbows on the mat close to your knees, and then stretch back up. Try not to let your hands come too far away from your head so that you're not gathering momentum using your lats, but you're just fixing them at a consistent angle, crunching round and down. Here we have a face pull, which is a great upper back exercise for the upper mid traps and rear delts. You don't need very much weight for this. I like to stagger my feet to give me a nice stable base Try not to lean back too much of your torso. Try and be nice and upright. You're gonna pull your elbows up and out, splitting the rope, pulling the center of that rope towards your forehead or eye level. This next one is a straight arm lap pull down. I'm demonstrating it with some long single rope handles, which are great. However, this can be done with a straight bar, but it does shorten the range of motion slightly. So for this, you don't want to bend your arms at all. You're going to have straight arms, you're going to let the lats stretch, and then you're going to pull past your pockets and even come slightly past your body, getting a great long head of the tricep and lat workout. Here we have a high to low angle cable wood chop. This is a great core strength exercise hitting the obliques also. You want your chest bone, your sternum, to be facing the center of your hands. And instead of pulling your shoulders and hands across your body, you're just gonna rotate your torso down as if you're pulling your hands round towards your pocket on the far side. Then you're gonna rotate at a slight angle back up towards the pulley. Make sure you do the same amount of reps on both sides. If you need to, you can twist the inside foot as you rotate, or if you feel comfortable, you can just keep them fixed. Just make sure they're symmetrical to start with. 
Next up is a classic, the lap pull down. If you haven't got a lap pull down bar, you can get one via a link in the description. I've got some recommended items in there that are also great value. The only disadvantage to this one is that you do need quite a lot of weight plates to get a good workout, but you can use other things. You can even hook kettlebells onto these cable pulleys. So just load it up and see if you can get enough weight for a good workout. And finally, we've got one I don't see very often, the lying spider cable curl. So I'm using those long rope attachments, but you can do this with a bar also. Try not to let your elbows come down too close to your body. So when you curl, you wanna keep your elbows up and away with a nice open armpit position. Control the eccentric lowering phase and squeeze the biceps till they come next to your temples or if you've got a bar, squeeze till it comes level with your forehead. Let me know if there's any other exercises you think I should have included in this list and which one of these is your favorite. I've put some links in the description to some of these items if you want to purchase any. Don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon for another video.